I want to tell you a story from the Old Testament. And what's going on here is Jacob and Esau uh, were twin brothers and they didn't get along. And so Jacob leaves her about 20 years and he lives with a man called Laban and he actually marries both of his daughters and then two wives after that. And so after 20 years, Jacob wants to go back to be with his father, Isaac. And so on his way back, he remembers that he was still having problems because he took the birthright from Esau and he knew that Esau was gonna come out to go to war with him. So what he did is he divided up his parties because if the cattle got killed, then the children would survive. And if this wife died, and then that wife would survive. So he, he was smart in it as he divided up his family and he sent them all forth. So it's, he sends gifts unto uh, Esau, his enemy. He goes to his enemy and he sends him gifts and he tries to make peace with his enemy. And so after he finishes sending everything over and he's all by himself, is when this story picks up. You're going to find this in Genesis chapter 32, starting at the 24th verse. You find that when Jacob was all alone, a man enters the scene. And Jacob, for some reason, started to wrestle with this man. It's not an angel. It's a man. And when he started to wrestle, it describes it as he was fighting him. It was nighttime when he was fighting him. He fought him from night unto day. And the first thing the man did was he reached over and he touched his hip and he threw his hip out of joint. And Jacob from that point never walked the same. And the Jews had a tradition of not eating the uh, meat around the hip bone in remembrance of uh, this happening to Jacob. So they fought all night. And early in the morning, Jacob was able to subdue this guy. Uh, and it's early, early in the morning when this is happening. The sun is just starting to come up. And he grabs this man and subdues him and says, now listen, I've got you. Give me a blessing. And he stops and the man looks at him and says, hey, what's your name? And the man says, well, my name is Jacob. And the man looks back at him and says, you're no long, your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but you shall be called Israel, he who wrestles with God. And as Jacob sat there, he looked at this man, he goes, I, who are you? And this man looks at him and says, well, why do you want to know my name? The man refused to give his name. He wouldn't tell Jacob exactly who he was. So Jacob, realizing what just happened, he says, I'm going to call this place Peniel. Because in this place, I saw God face to face. Which means this whole time, Jacob was wrestling with God. Which is funny because Jesus said in John chapter 6 that no man has ever seen God. Well, if no man has ever seen God, then who is Jacob wrestling with? Jacob was wrestling with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is God of the Old Testament. His name is I Am. He said before Abraham was, I Am. If no man has ever known God or seen God except for Jesus who came down from the Father to tell us of the Father, then this is clearly Jesus Christ in the story. Let's see, let's see if that's true. So when Jacob was all by himself, a man appeared. And he started to fight the man at nighttime, and it lasted into the day. Well, this is what God says about our lives, that we're all light sitting in darkness. And at the end of this will be the light, the kingdom of heaven. And, and there won't be heat. There won't be night or day. It'll just be his glory shining forever. But the fight finishes in the day because we're all in darkness right now in a world full of sin. But... When the day comes, there'll be no more time for dark. Jesus said, uh, Revelation chapter 22 said, He was the bright and morning star. It was Him. He's the daytime. He threw Jacob's hip out of joint. Um, any man who's had an interaction with the Lord Jesus Christ and never walks the same, you, you can't walk the same. There, there's no way. You must be born again. God gives us a change of heart and a change of mind and a change of the way we, we do things. It totally changes the way we think about life, the way we think about things. God takes our intelligence and He raises it up to understand who He is. This is one of the blessings in the Bible God talks about. To read His Word as a blessing is going to make you smarter. It's going to help you understand who He is. In the morning, Jacob asked for a blessing. Again, it's the morning. Jesus is the bright morning day star. It's Him. Jacob's name was changed to Israel, he who wrestles with God. The man didn't want to give his name 
because the name Jesus wasn't given until it was given to Mary in the New Testament. Throughout the whole Old Testament, they gave all this description of, of who he was and what he would do, but, but it never gives you his name. So even here, he won't give his name because it's not his time yet. And they called the place Peniel for here. I saw God face to face. Well, how did he see God face to face if Jesus said that no man has ever seen God? John chapter 6. He saw Jesus face to face and realized who he was. So to redo the whole story, to really think about what God's trying to tell us here. Any man who will give his heart to Jesus Christ, it's a fight because your flesh is fighting your soul. It's fighting your spirit. Your spirit knows what's right and your flesh doesn't want it. We wrestle. We wrestle constantly with God. We know what God wants, but we know what our flesh wants. There's, there's our fight. We're Jacob. And if we're willing to fight all night until the morning, until the end of this life, till, it's, till all said and done, um, Jesus will appear, the bright morning star. Jesus changes a man's life as he throws our hip at a joint and we'll never be able to walk the same. Nothing will be the same. And in the morning, when this is all said and done and life is over and we're presented in front of Jesus Christ, it's morning time. It's the beginning of forever. He's going to give us a blessing. What's the blessing he gives us? He gives us a new name. You and I both have new names. and We don't know what that name is yet. But that name is in heaven and it's waiting for us. And it's our name. And it's written in tablets of gold. And it's, and it's held until the day that we get there. God will give us a new name just as Jesus is given a new name that nobody knows. And there we will finally see God face to face. The story of Jacob wrestling with a man is, is about salvation, what God expects from us. God's in love with us, and he expects us to work for him and to be with him and to concentrate on him, and it is a fight. Everything in the whole world is trying to pull you away from this man while he's trying to romance you into himself. Jacob's name was changed. Jesus says in the New Testament that God is the God of the living. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were alive. They were in paradise. We know them as those names. But Jesus also said, He who holds on to the end, the same will be saved. This story is about salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ, and it's found in the Old Testament, just like so many other ones.